band Paramore has not only sold millions of albums worldwide, but also set new standards for rock drum sounds. Let's take a look at what makes their drums so powerful. Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community! Paramore's drum sounds have been outstanding since the band released their first album in 2005. Their original drummer, Zac Farrow, who had only just turned 15 at this time, played four of their five studio albums and has become one of the most influential modern rock drummers ever since. The band's biggest hit to date, Misery Business, was released as part of their second album, Riot, in 2007 and features some of the most powerful sounding drums ever in a song that was on the radio. Take a listen. There are multiple aspects to creating this massive sound. First, Zack is hitting the drums with his maximum energy. Second, there is a lot of attack, sustain and reverb, especially on the snare, and then there are samples used to crank everything up to 11. These pre-mixed one-shots of a snare, kick or tom are blended in with the recorded sounds of the microphones to create the final sound. As a challenge, we recreated this sound without any samples. This makes choosing the right equipment and playing the drums right essential. For the kick, we chose our 24-inch PDP concept bass drum, put on a Remo PowerStroke 3 coated batter and kept the stock resonant head. Pascal added a porthole and a Remo Dynamo ring to protect the hole from tearing apart when placing the microphones inside. The tuning is low, with wrinkles still appearing in the heads when you press them, but high enough to get the shell of the drum moving. The batter head is tuned slightly lower than the rezo head. Muffled with two blankets inside the shell, here's how it sounds mixed. Zach Farrow used a 14x8 Pearl Vinnie Paul signature snare drum on Misery Business, which features a wood shell. So we chose our free-floating Pearl 14x8 inch mahogany snare and fitted a Remo CS coated batter head, tuned medium-low. Pascal used a couple of tricks when mixing this drum sound to simulate the sample kicking in. If you're interested in the mixing of this drum sound, be sure to check out artofdrumming.com where you'll find numerous mixing videos for our recreating iconic drum sound videos, including this one. With all that said, here's how the snare sounds. For the toms, we chose our 13, 16 and 18 inch Gretsch renowned toms and fitted Remo Emperor clear batter and ambassador clear rezo heads. With the batters tuned low and the rezo slightly higher, here's how they sound mixed. For the cymbals, we looked at Zack's live setup from the Riot era and went with 14-inch Zildjian A custom hi-hats, a 20-inch A custom crash, a 21-inch K crash ride and a 22-inch A custom ping ride. Each cymbal has its own mic too. This gives them a very direct, clean and cutting sound. The crashes are mic'd with Biodynamic MC840s, the ride has an MC740 and the hi-hats have an MC930. The 13-inch tom is captured with a TGI-51 and the floor toms have TGD-70s to get more low end and attack. The kick drum has a TGD-71C inside for the attack and an MC-740 in front of the rezo head for the low end. On the snare, Pascal went all in and placed four microphones. A standard Shure SM57 is the main mic. It has an MC-930 taped to it for some more overtones and attack. 
On the bottom there is an M201 and for the shell we have a Shure SM7B. This mic provides a mid-range punchy sound. To complete the setup we used another M201 to capture the room. That's 14 mics in total, capturing just 5 drums and 4 cymbals. Let's see if all of that effort was worth it and check out Pascal's take on Misery Business. Paramore's second biggest song is Still Into You, which was written in 2012 by singer Haley Williams for her then boyfriend. During this time, Zach Farrow had left the band. That's why Elon Rubin filled in on drums on their self-titled album from 2013, also briefly going on tour with the band afterwards. His drum sound on the album is different as there are no samples used and the drums sound livelier and dirtier. Since Elon is a longtime Zildjian artist and already played Zildjian when recording Still Into You, we took the chance to ask their artist relation manager Eric Gross to help us pick the symbols for our shoot when we visited the Zildjian headquarters earlier this year. His symbol setup pretty much always includes 15 inch Zildjian K light hi hats and a 24 inch K light ride. We also chose the 21 inch K crash ride you've already seen and added the 20 inch K custom dark crash we already had in our studio. We also swapped in a free-floating 14 by 6 and a half inch pearl phosphor bronze snare with a slightly higher tuned Remo Ambassador X14 head. Keeping the miking the same. Pascal only had to raise the snare bottom mic because of the shallower depth of the bronze drum. He also redid the mix. Here's still into you. Be sure to keep an eye out for the full drum covers, which will be coming to YouTube soon. We hope you enjoyed our recreation as much as we did. Which of the two sounds do you like more? Do you have any experience with samples? Tell us in the comments. Also subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this from us. See you next time.